Hello, welcome to my channel to the original Lady Eve Elements Tarot LLC. Like the book of personal reading. All that information is found in the box below. Description box below. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell notification to be notified of upcoming content. Defensive magic, celebrity readings, your own personal reading. Not your own personal reading. Because these are collective readings, by the way. These are basically general readings, okay? I will not be time stamping my videos anymore. So if you find yourself on the channel looking at your sign or your element, and you're catching the reading, just make sure that you listen to the reading all the way through because there is pertinent information at the end of that reading. Especially if it's dealing with if an individual or people or group of people hexed you, then you might want to stay to the end because there's going to be a remedy at the end to help you remedy that situation regarding who hexed you. Let's get into it. This is going to be a collective reading. We're going to find out what the energies are <clears throat> for June 1st to the 14th. Well, I ain't time stamping, fuck it. Let me just do a, a overall collective reading. Aries to Pisces, what's going on? Let's see what's going on in the summer. Spirit of the Most High God, what's going on in the summer for the collective? What do you see happening worldwide for the collective? <laughs> what? Get out of here. Ooh, ooh. saying anything. Not yet. Because I see something. Whoop. Mama! Get down right now. It's not cute. Or ladylike. Ooh, okay. So, we have fame rich man and we have gossip so there's someone in a public eye social media this person is famous male energy here male full male this person likes to wear fedora hats smokes cigars weeds or blunts this person wears rings and they wear colorful shirts like those tropical shirts let me move out the way see the tropical shirt hold on wait see that shirt if it stopped glaring damn it See that shirt? This person is constantly in the public freaking eye. This person is constantly scrutinized. This gossip started with two females. So possibly this man had one night stands with each of these females. One with red hair, one with black hair. And now they're gossiping about this person's love life. We have a karmic partner here that's trying to hold on y'all out there that's causing you a lot of anxiety you don't want to be with this individual but this individual is grabbing onto you like a cancer you could be dealing with a cancer very clingy individual that doesn't let you breathe constantly wanting to know where you are you're not taking care of yourself some of you out there you got self-care in the reverse and i can't stress enough because i keep talking about self-love and self-care take care of yourself take care of your number one star player that's what you need to be doing. Okay, but this karmic partner has you so in your head and your feels. They just stress you out so much you forget to take care of you. All right, this person is constantly grabbing for money, grabbing for time, grabbing for energy. Clingy, clingy, clinging on, cling on energy. That's what I'm feeling with a rich woman reverse. This person ain't got no money. So they, be, they could be clinging on to you because you got dough. Okay, I don't care if it's a little ass paycheck. This person's just trying to cling on to you because of your status, because you got money. This is what some of y'all dealing with in the collective right about now. I see you getting past this. I see you ascending. You're lifting yourself to a higher uh, status, a higher level. You're, you're getting away from this individual, period. Period. What else? We got here for the collective. So, yeah, most of you are dealing with a karmic individual, right? 
For some of you dealing with this individual, that's, that karmic cycle ain't gonna close till next year. I just heard next summer, next July, July 17th. That's when you'll be able to get rid of this person because then the universe is deemed fit that it's over the cycle. You learned your lesson. If you don't learn your lesson now with this individual, you're gonna be stuck with this person even from now to different lifetimes from now. So, yeah, this person. It's karmic. It's not abundant. Okay. Others of you, if you're out there and you're feeling not so abundant, work on self. Get your money up. You're in a union that you're not getting nowhere with. There's no abundance in this union. There's no growth. Whoever you're with, whoever y'all dealing with, mind you, this is a collective reading, all right? Why is trip here? Like, what the hell? We have abundance, reverse, union, and trip. So some of you are getting out of a union that you're not, there. the growth is just stagnant. It, it just, it's just not getting any further. There's no growth in this relationship. It is stagnant. And I see some of you relocating. You're taking a trip in order to relocate away from this union. Some of you are traveling and you will run into a brand new union. But be mindful for others of you out there. The new union you're coming into contact with, it won't get past the one night stand. I just heard that. Tell me more about this summer. What will happen this summer? <laughs> What's going on in this summer? Ooh, some of y'all dealing with third parties. So, ooh, okay, you know what? You know what? The third party that you messing with, which is an earth sign, y'all screwing this person in nature. I see somebody humping in the forest. Yes, I said that word. <laughs> that word is old. <laughs> Some of you need to get back to nature. Okay, this third party lives in the mountains for most of you out there. I'm here in a wooded area. All right. If you were dealing with a thief, you not no more. It could be the third party that was the thief. Stealing time, stealing energy away from you. And your true relationship that you need to be in with your real partner. Some of you, the partner's doing this. You know. going on with the collective spirit of the most high god show me what's going on Ooh. some of you are going to be in new relationships and being real intimate some of you this summer are getting intimate with the person that you are with who has dark hair dark eyes hey what's up my coconut water yay thank you i gotta put it in my um my water bottle there's a lot of intimacy going on be mindful wrap it up if you don't want no kids you're very happy with this person. Y'all go out dancing a lot. The person that you're in union with, that you're very intimate with, this person is your person. This person loves you. They cherish the ground you walked on. I know it sounds corny, but this is this is it. This is the one. Okay, you're not married to this one. All right, some of you are coming out of a union and getting into a new one. And you're going to be heavily intimate with this individual here. Some of you have black magic done to you. This is what's going on in the summer months. We're really doing this shit. Whoop. Okay. I'm here strong. Babalawo. Y'all don't know what a Babalawo is. I'll tell you what one is. It is a spiritual practitioner who is a high priest. Okay. In, in a... Um, what is this? <gasps> what? Okay, I'm not drunk. You know what? What I see here for the collective is we have black magic reversed. Rich man. This is the Babalawo smoking Cuban cigars. This is a Cuban person. That's a Babalawo. Okay. I see new love reversed. And I see journey. So this person, this Babalawo, this magician lives at a distance, right? This person did black magic on some of you. I see black magic that was done to stop a new love from coming in that you're supposed to be traveling to. This Baba Dawa lives at a distance, probably not even in, in the country where you live at, okay, but at a distance, okay? This Baba Dawa I'm hearing is also on um, social media, 
or you can hit this person up on social media literally but i see where the black magic that was done to stop your love your soulmate from coming to you new love is supposed to come to you right new love this new love is potentially your soulmate right coming to you this person did black magic this Babalawo did black magic. This high priest did black magic to stop. Some of you are married to a high priest that you divorced that's doing this his damn self. Doing mirror magic, burials, using the river, all sorts of shit. But it backfired. It's in reverse. Black magic is reversed. So it got sent to this individual. So don't, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has a lot of anxiety. Losing money, losing weight, losing sleep. Their love life is fucked up. Okay? It's coming right back to the ass. That's what's being done. You're supposed to be intimate with your new love. They tried to stop that. Okay? They tried to stop your happiness, your dance. Mm -hmm. They tried to. It got reversed on the ass. You know how it got reversed? Because some of you sat in nature and you meditated. Okay? Heavy incense is um, the water element. And this is how God, and this is how the black magic backfired on this individual man. Okay? It backfired. You sat there, you you sat there, you meditated, you connected with source from your crown chakra. Oh, he didn't bet on that, did he? Sucker. <laughs> how you how how you gonna stop someone's love life from from, from progressing? That's just demonic, okay? There's a lot of abundance coming to you that this person tries to stop. There's a proposal from the new love coming to you. That they try they try to stop this shit. You're coming into someone who has money. More money than that fucking Baba Lawo. Look at this shit. Look, look, abundance. The person proposing to you loves flowers. This this is for females out there in the collective. Okay. They love flowers. You love flowers, right? And so this is individual, okay? He coming with a ring. You may even get a ring that looks like this or bigger because this person has money, okay? This person is your, your true person. The new love is your true person. And this individual tried to stop it by doing black magic. Wow. Some of you don't have as much money as this new person coming into your life. And this person doesn't care about your financial status. They know that they they will love you. Okay. Tell me more about the collective for the summer month. So some of you in the summer month of July and August will be getting proposed to from someone you just met. Don't be surprised that even on a first date, this person proposes to you. This person already knows they're going to take a risk and be with you. Some of you, this person is in the public eye. They, they didn't even plan this shit. Planning is backwards. They're, just, they're not planning nothing. They're just going to go for it. Okay? They're just going to go for it and propose, and propose that you be theirs. They're very clear on this. They've been in solitude thinking about it. See that air is mental. Mental energy. A lot of mental energy they've been pulling on. Getting crystal clear thoughts from source. And this is why they're going to take a leap of faith, take that risk, and propose marriage to you. This other person here. Ooh. I see sorrow and I see healthy eating here. I need some more cards on this one. So who said? Somebody going to be left out in the cold, sad as hell. An older, mature person, older man rich man yeah he gonna be mad his shit didn't work this this that's that baba lava older man didn't i tell you for some of you this is two different people your dad and someone else your ex-husband and someone else ex-baby daddy whoever this is that's very mature honing on earth energy this person eats a lot of root vegetables but they're gonna be very sad when they find out they black magic didn't work to stop your shit it's still coming in the month of july and august the proposal some of you are relocating and in the relocation process is when you will run into your new love 
I just heard soulmate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your soulmate is an earth sign for some of you out there. It's an earth sign. Others of you are running into a Sagittarius, all right? Others of you, this root worker is a Sagittarius with earth placements. I just heard Gemini. Yeah, some of you are planning to relocate. Planning. You're very, very strategic with it. You're planning. You're not telling no one your moves. You're planning this relocation, ain't you? That's the re This is for the collective signs out there, the collective people. All right. I just heard changing course. <laughs> I see soulmate reversed. Older man. Date reverse. Journey. So what I see here is that others of you out there, this may resonate with, okay? At the bottom of the deck deception. Okay, same as someone wearing a false mask. But look how, look how. Tell me that ain't spooky. T tell me. Tell me. Tell me that ain't spooky. Deception. Those are demonic eyes. Like someone's demonically possessed. This person loves to lie, cheat, steal, wear false masks, not show you their true intentions. Dead set on mentally looking at you and focused on you. Like I said, soulmate reverse. This is an older man being very deceptive. Date reverse journey okay this person is not your soulmate mm -mm. they may have pretended to be but they are not okay i see you quit dating this individual or you don't go out on dates with this individual or you used to but you don't anymore <sighs> journey is an indication to me like you're on another path you're on another journey away from this individual here this individual is very deceptive okay very deceptive this person has a son this person got this deceptive individual a slow moving very cunning very 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 cunning I didn't realize that card was down there Ooh. okay my cards be falling all over the fucking place then I say false mask false mask so we got two up in this bitch one on the first end and one on the, in the end of the cards the beginning of the cards and the end of the cards deceptive and false mask i said this without even drawing the cards before i said false you know what i'm so done with this shit someone i heard quietly being deceptive deceiving you it has a lot to do with they're gonna use the kids in order for you not to go towards your new love who actually has a son some of you new love has a son some of you have a child with this deceitful individual others of you possibly have three kids one boy two girls mm -mm 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 they're not your soulmate this person you got kids with is not your soulmate the new love is this person went and paid the baba law will stop that shit so you don't leave them they possibly been arguing with you about you not leaving using the kids as an excuse to stay leaving the child as an excuse to stay with them male or female put it where it applies and it's like you're like i can't yeah, follow your gut instincts so if you can't do this shit with this individual leave They've been, they've been being very deceptive. Show me what's going on in the summer months with the collective. July. Uh, what the hell was that? Some of you are moving past this situation. That's why the journey card was there because you're healing from all the deception, from all the deceit, trickery, mockery, gossip, bullshit. Just, just straight bullshit. I said it. Excuse me, YouTube, but I have to. I'll probably do a reading for the YouTube CEO. She will find out what's going on. She won't want. She can hit me up. She know where I be. Once your healing takes off, okay, you're not, yeah, look, you're no, no longer bonding with this individual. This individual is doing black magic to bind you to them. It broke. Um, it broke between you, them, and the children because they were binding you and the kids to them using that devil energy. 
uh, you're going to be celebrating your healing process. Okay? Healing takes a while. There is no time limit to healing the spiritual body, mental, physical, emotional. It takes time. Okay? Whoever told you there's a time stamp on healing, they told you a lie. Ain't no time stamp on healing. It's a process. It's a process, my loves. Go out into nature. Ground yourself. Let the sun hit you and get the natural vitamin D. Get the natural elements that you need for yourself. Spirit is asking you to go out into nature. Ground your energy. Another way to ground your energy, too. Okay. You need to wear earth colors. Whatever those earth colors are. Brown. Green. Okay. Um, brown, green. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> you look it up. What are the earth colors? What are earth element colors? Especially Taurus. Is Taurus' favorite color. A real Taurus, their favorite color is green. It's green. They'll tell you it's for money, but I'm going to tell you it's for something else. They know they ground in their energy. You need to go out into nature. There's something I'm looking at right here with the collective. I see nature, new love, and black magic. So someone is with someone already. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have rich woman. Someone that's well off, wealthy. And if they're not wealthy, they just have money like that or they have a lot of abundance around them all right this person for most most of you out there are working hard you got your, your money together all right i see nature i see new love i see black magic i see loneliness reversed along with new direction so some of you are going in a new direction here because especially if you're this woman here who was in the third party if this ain't you, this someone, this third party is this rich woman here. She has bad habits. She smokes those women's cigars a lot. Spends money a lot on the person that you with or you. All right. This is the third party. The woman got light colored hair, blonde hair. This is someone that your person works with. I see they go out. She used black magic on your person your person is the new love in her life i see her using black magic on your individual she buried something in the ground in the woods to bind your person to him because she wants to come out of this status of being lonely this person is very lonely because she works a lot she wants this relationship between her and your partner to move in a new direction and this is why she did the black magic so a lot of people is doing fucking black magic can we just let stuff unfold naturally? Like, oh, Jesus. Magic is not used for that. She eats healthy. We got all these people that want to eat healthy, but yet throwing black magic. Like, it's not going to affect your health still. It will. Assholes. Like, for reals. Where'd that card go? Seriously? The woman that's doing the black magic to your partner is a business owner self-employed zero in on her targets marketing she deals with marketing this person's marketing okay they market their own business hit that thumbs up that like button Hit that bell notification to be notified of upcoming content on the channel. This person is not a soulmate to your person or to you if they're doing it to you. Okay. Show me what else I need to see regarding what will occur in the summer months for the collective worldwide. Oh my god, everything. I said, oh my god, everything. <laughs> like, what the hell? Ooh. A lot of material losses. I'm hearing stock market is going to go down. Okay. A lot of money lost in Bitcoin during the summer months. A lot of
lot of people are not healing from this once they lose their money stock market bitcoin wherever this material loss is you're losing money collective in the summer months so if you did an investment or took a risk doing an investment you're gonna be losing money and you're not gonna heal from this it's like you're not gonna be able to get over it others of you are going into union with a soulmate this keeps popping up some of you are not traveling your soulmate is right in your own backyard trip reversed others of you that's supposed to be coming in union with your soulmate you need to travel out to meet your soulmate and it's not happening yet I don't see you traveling yet your destiny show me what else I need to see some of you be going out on a date for the first time in years because <laughs> you've been too busy being, being a freaking parent. Okay? This date going to come out of the blue with you. Okay? It could be with the person you with. It could be with any person you come in contact with. Either way, I do see the date. I see a new career. Some of you going to be working in the city. Some of you are going to be working in Tokyo, Japan. Something to do with electronics, like cell phones. I keep, I just keep hearing Tokyo, Japan. You may meet your person over in Tokyo, Japan, sitting in the corner of a restaurant eating sushi and drinking wine. There's a celebration that will occur. Okay, so the date is someone that you will meet when you get this new career in Tokyo, Japan. When you get this new career, that's when you go out on this date and you'll be celebrating the fact that you got this new job, that you're traveling out to get this new job. Very exciting about it. Very exciting. You're going to be very excited about this. Who else I need to see before I close it out? Spirit of the Most High God. Some of you are leaving behind someone. They're going to be very sad about it. I see a sad man here with a little bald spot. So cute. Just want to give him a hug. But this is part of his karma, so he got to deal with that shit. Yeah. This person said you're no longer intimate with them. Intimacy is in the reverse. Hey man, you took their love in the way I heard. You no longer sex. Your, your wop was the bomb. No, because I'm hearing Source said they wanted to be deceptive and have options. And lie, cheat, and steal. And they wanted to just, just bring you down with their little demonic ways. And now they sad because they shit didn't work. Bye. Punk ass. This person won't have a new love. They feel that you are it for them, but yet they were being deceptive in this relationship with you. You left on to brighter things and now they are sad without you. Some of you, you left literally out of the house. Like you relocated and you just took your keys, you took your kids, you ain't got no kids, you took yourself and you relocated to a distant place where they cannot find your ass. And now they sitting there sad. Some of them may be homeless in the homeless shelter sitting there sad. I hate to say it, I'm not making fun. You're going on, moving on to your soulmate. That's why this individual is sad. Tell me more about the collective for the month of July. Matter of fact, for the summer months, July and August, like I said before. What's happening in July and August? Ooh, okay. Some of you got a soulmate out there that wants to get engaged. I see engagement. But it got broken off it or it's soon to get broken off the proposal or whatever is off like the engagement is off okay this person was doing the most i heard <laughs> behind your back yeah this individual is doing the most behind your back oh, damn. yeah they were dealing with a karmic partner that's why you broke the engagement off you broke the proposal off Okay, this person, this karmic partner is very immature. This is an older woman, but she immature. Clingy as fuck. She's a fast ass. She a hoe. 
Okay, a lot of fast movement, fast energy, fast fucking. She likes to fuck fast too. Okay. About to close it out. Any other messages before I close out this reading? Spirit of the Most High God. Any other messages before I close out this reading? Let me break up the energy on the deck. Give me a second. There he go again. Look, look, yo. Sad man. There's that card again next to him. Self-unemployment reverse. So this could have been a businessman who lost his business, closed down his business, wasn't making no money in his business. He don't take care of himself. Okay, coming out of a betrayal. Betrayal is reversed. Okay, you know what? I'm freaking... False-ass friends around him. Friends reverse. Fake-ass friends. Probably told him to do that shit to you. Just so he wouldn't have nobody. See, they were being deceptive. His own friends were being deceptive to him while he was over there trying to be deceptive to you. Listen to his friends tell him, hey, you can see this such and such fucking with a co worker behind your back. Okay? Others of you, if you're headed in a new direction towards a new career, don't do it. You got material gain in the reverse. You're not going to make no money. It's a low paying job. So don't do it. So if you're planning on taking it, taking on that job, don't do it. You ain't gonna get no money out of it. Okay, others of you, we got proposal reverse, healing reverse, uh, birthday. Some of you got a broken engagement on a child's birthday and you're not celebrating. Others of you could be celebrating the fact that you broke a proposal with someone. Now, it don't have to be marriage, it could be a business contract, okay? But what, okay, it could be a contract with housing. Either way, it's broken because it's not healed, okay? There needs to be healing that needs to take place in this process, period. Okay, let's see. The energy is just fierce. Let's see what I can get from the cards real quick. Do you have anything for the collective spirit of the Most High God regarding the summer months, July and August? You're already in June. It's June 1st today. Hi, baby. I love my water son. She's so cute. She's deadly, but she's cute. <laughs> What's this card that popped out? Someone is trying not to let the tower fall. And... and Oh, the games are deleted, baby. I know. Don't worry about it. Someone's trying not to let the tower fall. Scorpio, Scorpio energy, right? Someone is not seeing something for what it is or not accepting something for what it is, is what I heard. And they need to get out of the mental disillusionment you're in. All right? They're not trying to see all the burdens that, that's around them. Don't ever try to let someone carry your burdens. Handle your problems. That's why my, my take on people that get high of weed, drugs, or whatever, alcohol too, is you're trying to escape a problem. Not for everybody, but for most of you out there that do use it as an, a, a form of escapism. To me, I'm a strong believer in handle that problem head on. And you don't have to handle that problem alone. There are others. Ask for help. Don't be so prideful. I'm an Aries. We're hella prideful, okay? We don't ask for fucking help. But when push comes to shove, I will swallow my pride and look, I need help in this. But you need to ask for the help from someone who can be trusted and that will not manipulate you while you are in a weakened emotional state. Okay, so if you need help, all right, use your discernment. Okay, I don't care if you have to ask a priest at a church, someone that you do not know, to help you with your situation. But you, you if you need the help, baby, honey child, if you need the help, ask. Help is all around. Your spirit guides are always all around you. Look, a secret is coming out. Whoever was sitting on the fence holding this back, holding this secret in and not letting it be known or holding this secret decision that they needed to make is coming out. Someone wants to be in a partnership and it's with a soulmate. This is soulmate energy. 
So I see some sort of communication coming in to someone that someone sees or deems as their soulmate. Yep, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone's wanting to talk to their soulmate. Look at this, look. Can't make this shit up. The soulmate likes to have a lot of sex. Could be dealing with a Gemini, could be could be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't matter. Whoever this individual is, okay, is coming in to your life. You're going to have a lot of sex with this individual. But this individual is going to make up their mind. <laughs> Some of you, this is superficial, but they're going to base it off on how well you sex them good. Okay, look. How well this is a male. That is his phallus, okay? His penis, whatever the hell you're going to call that one. But that's, he going to, you know, use it. And he gonna make a decision. Damn, she she got the good good, okay. And he's gonna wanna lock it in with you. This person sees you as a soulmate, feels you as a soulmate, or knows that you are their soulmate. All right. And once that happens, they're leaving someone behind. Whoever this Taurus or this Libra is, is gonna be very disappointed in this individual that they're going towards this person here. <laughs> Let me get this reading out real quick. For the collective, there's that secret coming out again. Decision time. This is decision crunch time. Someone already making up their mind who they want to be with. And they're going towards their soulmate. Look, sneaking away. <laughs> this is what they're thinking of. We got the swords here. They're thinking about sneaking away. Going towards their soulmate. Sneaking away from a Taurus or a Libra. And going towards their soulmate, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini. Okay, this person is sneaking away. What do we have for the collective for the summer months, July and August? Yup, they're coming in with an offer to that individual too. They doing sneaky. Ooh, yup, Ursa. Okay, you know what? Mm. They're, they're, so it could be an Earth sign with another Earth sign or with a Libra or Air sign that's leaving that individual to go sneak away, be with someone else. They're not going to let this person know, but this person's instincts going to kick up that there's something going on with the partner that they with, and they're going to be hella disappointed, sad, high anxiety, up at night, walking up, walking the house, probably eating ice cream and shit, gaining weight, bloating, all of that. Yeah, this person's not stuck in their head anymore about that offer they want to make in a period of two, two weeks, two months from now. Ooh, hold on, wait, wait, that is in the month of August. Okay, yeah, in the month of August, expect an offer coming in from someone trying to sneak out of a relationship that, they got, <laughs> that they're that with someone else, and they're coming towards you. They already made up their mind. They're handing in that offer. Of course, it's an immature offer because they're trying to really sneak their way out of this relationship. 